Hello, hello, hello. Time to configure uh, this uh, system and uh, see if we can get uh, or see how it performs when we start from a complete wipe. I'm going to do this in various stages. I'm going to start with wiping the entire Arduino. So I'm going to load uh, this uh, Arduino code into the device. Uh, that's basically going to wipe everything from the memory of the Arduino using this loop and it will overwrite the program space as well. Um, all of that will effectively destroy everything Ed Tracker about this device. So we'll upload that. And I'll just turn that computer down a bit. Right, so that's the memory there. You can see it's counted up and it's wiped. I'll just reload that again just, just because I can. Right, so that's it uploaded twice. That's the memory wiped twice. So all of the memory inside this device is now totally wiped. It is nothing Arduino, nothing Ed Tracker left about it. It's gone. So that's the wipe process. I'm just going to pause and restart this video so I can do this in multiple sections so I don't make many mistakes. Right, so we're back for uh, part two of this video, which will be the initial uh, Ed Tracker upload. And uh, then we'll do the calibration as a part three. So Ed Tracker 2.9150.404 is the correct firmware. Um, COM3 is the correct port. We shall upload that to the device. That's the data flashed to the device. So it's now become an Ed Tracker again. And the Ed Tracker is going through its initial uh, gyro calibration, which is what it normally does, of course. Right. So we'll pause it there for a second, and we'll restart it immediately. So part three, I guess. So this is going to be the initial setup of the device. Uh, so I'm going to rotate this to USB front, which is the way the device is currently wired and configured and positioned. It's not the way that you may have it, but that's the way it uh, is within the hardware test build. So we'll increase the pitch uh, scaling up to fives. Uh, we'll reset the view, why not? And um, at that point, the head is going to be roughly behaving, although it's not calibrated yet, but it should do some turning. Notice straight away, if I pick up the headset and rotate it 90 degrees right, it bounces back to the center. If I go back to the center again, if I go left, it's automatically centering for absolutely no obvious reason. So it's already showing signs of not being quite right. So what I'll do is I'll increase the sensitivity up to the usual sort of three quarters. We'll restart that again. So I've not done anything other than save the file and rename it. So that's just got our basic head rotation magnetometer set. Um, we'll save that calibration. Can't remember if I did that or not. And um, hit uh, back to the head mode, and we'll reset the view. This is where you sometimes end up with some oscillation um, because it's the gyros are not stabilized again. So I will. Now hit auto gyro bios and let it do its 20 or so second calibration again. So that's the calibration done. As far as I'm aware, that is everything that can be done to calibrate this device. I'm just going to stop and start the recording again. All right, so the calibration's done. Everything is set up. Now it's down to simply testing the device, I think. So we'll pick up the headset and we'll put it on my head and we'll look straight to the face on the screen and recenter. So now if I look left, you notice it sweeps back again. If I look back to the center again, if I look right, 
it auto centers to about 45 degrees. If I look back to the center again, if I look up, if I look down, or let's try that again. If I look up, if I look back to the monitor, if I look down, if I look back to the monitor, if I look down and left, and back to the monitor, and down and right, and back to the monitor, and up and right, back to the monitor, up and left, back to the monitor. If I left ear down, and left ear up, and right ear down, I'm not rotating my head, that's just me dropping the ear position. Um, okay, so I'm confused. It's still not doing what I would expect it to do. Um, I think I'll just pause here and then I'll come back with some thoughts again if I've got any. Right, so we're back again. Still wearing the headset and uh, if I look to the top right of my monitor and back to the centre, top left of the monitor, and back to the centre, bottom left of the monitor, back to the centre, bottom right of the monitor, back to the centre, top right again. Now there's no magnets or anything around me, there's nothing that could be causing any concerns in range of this calibration. Um, <clears throat> if there were, um, when I move away, I'm now about uh, four or five feet away from where it was calibrated. So um, let me just position myself here. Okay, so that's me in the centre there. So if I look right and I look left and I look to the centre, if I look up, if I look down, and I look to the centre again. So, it's definitely not um, doing its job uh, at all. If it was local magnetism, as I say, you would have had a completely different calibration when I stood back that five or six feet. Not quite five, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm puzzled, I'm puzzled, I'm puzzled. I really don't know what it is that's going on here. I think I'll do another quick test. I'm just going to maybe rotate the entire device 180 degrees, so effectively turn the the magnetometer upside down in case it's something rotational-wise that's causing problems. I don't think it will be, but that's the next test I'll do right now. Back in a moment after I uh, reposition the tracker. All right, so that's me uh, repositioned the tracker unit. I've just rotated it 180 degrees, so it's now everything is reversed back to front. Uh, so I've changed this to USB rear, which sort of calculates or compensates for that. So without doing any further calibration, if I look up, look center, look down, look center, look left, Look center, look right. Hmm. Look up to the left. Look up to the right. I'm still doing that centering thing. Look down to the right. Look down to the left. I'm still doing that centering thing again. I'm going to do this uh, recalibration process again. I'll stop and come back and do that. Okay, so I've just uh, stopped and restarted that. Um, I think I found something interesting in this last second or five. Um, the calibration appears to be now working. It looks like 
the gyro didn't like the orientation it was default in uh, previously. So what I've done just now is I've just inverted the box 180 degrees. So if I look top left and look top right, look bottom right, look bottom left, look center again, look left, look right, and look up all the way, and look down all the way, and look left all the way, and look right all the way. So top right, bottom left, top left, bottom left, right even. Um, okay, let's put this into the mode I normally uh, use when I'm playing this game. So I'm just going to just set this how I roughly use it. Oops. Right, so, okay, so I'm now in uh, the settings that I would normally use. So there's center. There's left, or right even, <laughs> there's left, there's bottom left, bottom right, bottom, top, top right, top left, left, right, centre, down, right. Hmm. Hmm. Is it working in this orientation, whereas it wasn't working in the other? orientation. That's interesting. I think I might have found a solution. Although I can't understand it. I'm just going to take the tracker apart and just work out how the orientation of this uh, device is. And I'll be back again in a moment. Right, I've just uh, stopped and taken some photographs of this thing and um, I'll insert them now. But um, It appears interesting that this is now working. Um, I don't seem to have any problems with it at all. Um, I think what the problem was is that the device magnetometer doesn't like being calibrated while it's, in theory, upside down. So that all the chips were basically hanging downwards on the board this orientation it's now up the other way so that the chip is now all the components are on the top side effectively so it's pizza with all the stuff on top when it's on top of my head and this appears to be calibrating just fine uh, the thing that's confusing me is I used it for <coughs> a year in the orientation it's not working now so um, and this is a different device as well, so it's different hardware. It's very weird. I've no idea why it's now uh, performing in that weird and wonderful way, but I think it's now working. Um, I guess it's uh, time to uh, possibly test this. Um, hmm. Great, thank you.